So there's something I haven't done yet, which is shorten these uh, shocks. Got to do this so I can finish off the uh, cables uh, lengthwise and stuff. So I'm going to shorten these cables. I'm going to put in a small spacer in here uh, that will make this thing shorter and it will change the stance of the bike. And you shouldn't get these long pokes at the end like I had before. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to rebuild the front yoke and everything. So I've got my shocks here. Uh, what I need to do is take off this cap and remove the bolts um, and bleed the uh, the oil out. It's fresh oil in this one, so I think I'm just going to reuse that and then take out this piston thing. And after that, I'm going to put in a piece about five centimeters underneath here that will uh, raise this thing. So this is what comes out of it, and this is what we're working with. Uh, this is a long spring that needs to be shortened about five centimeters, which is the same length as the spacer that's going to come in between here. It's going to be about four or five centimeters, I think, I'm going to use. Put the spacer in, put this back on, put it back in the bike, and that is what gets uh, the shocks lowered just by that much. So it's not a lot, but, well, it's still a lot. <laughs> So this is the top of the yoke, and this comes sticking out, like that. And the spacer I'm going to make out of some heating tube. Uh, that's the perfect size. Now I haven't thought of this method myself, it's all over the internet. You can find it on uh, lots of uh, website builder sites who do, who've done this before. Um, the five centimeters I'm using, you can change that as, as you like, but I think five is the absolute maximum, maybe even a bit too far. So. I'm thinking four, um, but yeah, you can find a lot of videos on it. The one I use is from For the Bold, uh, who did it on the GS 550 a long time ago, but it's still uh, still a way to do it. So this is the spacers I made. Have to be equal, of course. And they just go onto this damper with that. So now we need to cut the big spring. The big spring, it's got side with the uh, with more space than the other. I'm cutting it from this end. Alright, so put this in. Put the spring in with the cut end at the top. There it goes. So that one is done, and now we've got this. So that's the difference, it's the five centimeters. But it's shorter now. So I just do the other one, and uh, it's done. Come back on the bike. They're done, so they're about this much shorter now. 
and they work really well actually so uh, let's get the uh, front back on I've been working really hard, but it's done. It came out really nice. So uh, it's what I was looking for. So uh, just flip you around the camera. So there it is. Look how nice that is. Nice and smooth. So that's what five centimeters does. The stance of the bike is uh, really good. So as you can see, it's slightly longer than what I had before, but um, suits the bike and it came out pretty good. These are the springs I took off. So I guess uh, a successful uh, conversion. All right, that's for, the, for this video. Um, if you like what you see, subscribe, hit that like button. See you in the next one.